Okay. Here with Callie Shopicom of the UMC volleyball team. Uh, just in our Q&A session, get to know your Golden Eagles this week uh, for the game program. First off, just talk about the adjustment you've made from last season when you kind of played a more limited role, played some matches, but wasn't a real, you know, big role last year. Now you're, you've thrust yourself kind of into a starting role at the middle hitter position. Talk about just the the changes and obviously playing time and what you think kind of led to that. Yeah, it's been fun. It's been a process and a lot of growth has been made. Um, I think the biggest thing was I just tried to improve on all the little things and that led to where we are today. How have, you know, players like obviously Kelsey, you know, at the middle hitter position as well, how has she helped you really to kind of grow as a as a player and just as a person in general? Yeah, she's a good player and she's very consistent, so that's helped me like learn and she helps me in practice a lot and when I'm struggling I can always go to her if I have questions. How have players like Alyssa and then Caitlin who you came in with helped push you, you know, kind of battling you every day to push you to hold your uh, middle hitter position? Yeah, we're all very close and we are all very similar players like in our skill level, but um, each day in practice we all just work hard and that helps all of us get better. You came in with a big freshman class. Some of you are sophomores, others are redshirt freshmen, but talk about the bond that you guys have had since day one when you first came in here and to today, midway through your uh, second year. Yeah, it was awesome that we could come in with such a big class and we all got really close right away. And just growing together and being able to spend a lot of time together has helped us become really good friends. What are some things that you guys like to do kind of off the court and have helped make you guys such good friends? Uh, we just hang out together a lot, listen to music, have fun, do random things. <laughs> Talk about the process it was to kind of get you here originally from Egan. Um, what was the recruiting process like and what was it about Minnesota Crookston that made you uh, want to be a Golden Eagle? Yeah, I mean, I just um, looked at a couple different schools that I liked and that I was interested in and then what really stuck out about this one was I really liked the team and the program and I liked the school a lot and the academics was really important to me. You guys, you know, have had a really big last three matches and they're coming into a crucial part of your schedule with eight matches to go. Just how big is this stretch for you guys and what are your team goals that you would like to accomplish uh, this season? Yeah, it's been a really good past three matches especially and even some before that. And I think we just need to keep focusing on our side of the court and focusing on our process and what we do. And then it will all come together. What's the biggest thing in your game that you would like to improve in this these last eight? Yeah, just, eight <laughs> matches, yep. I think I would just continue to work on being like fast and consistent in the middle and help my team be the best that we can be. What is it that you kind of do to get ready for a match? Is there a type of music or just kind of a pregame ritual that you have? Uh, not really. I mean, I just kind of, I don't really listen to loud music. Like I just do my whole thing, go you, with it. Do you have a favorite TV show? No. I don't watch much TV. Okay. Favorite music group? Country. Anything in particular? Anyone uh, that's right at like the Tim top? I like Tim McGraw. Okay. Got a favorite song of Tim McGraw's? Uh, no, I like them all. <laughs> awesome. Thanks, Callie. Thank you.